So when we do the final refrain, and then Larry will do the refrain by himself. So. Okay. Oh, we're ready. Good morning and welcome to St. Ambrose. Our opening song today is number 481, Love Divine, All Loves Excelling. Number 481. of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. So you remember last week I, I had gone to help the sisters so this weekend Monsignor Mike is over there. So that is how we help one another. In life, uh, there are some three things which I would like to tell you. We learn to eat by doing what? By eating, right? Then we learn to study by studying. Then we can only learn how to love by doing what? 
by loving. So today Jesus is teaching us about the greatest commandment, loving God with your entire being and then loving your neighbor. So you can only, by loving God with your entire self, your entire being, that you, that you can, that is when you can be able to love your neighbor in an authentic manner. So like us, as we begin this Mass, let us call to mind the times we have not loved as we should and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. us pray. Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. first reading this morning is from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, you shall not molest or oppress an alien, for you were once aliens yourselves in the land of Egypt. You shall not wrong any widow or orphan. If ever you wrong them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry. 
My wrath will fire, flare up, and I will kill you with a sword. Then your wives will be widows, and your children orphans. If you lend money to one of our to one of your poor neighbors among my people, you shall not act like an extortioner towards him by demanding interest from him. If you take your neighbor's cloak as a pledge, you shall return it to him before sunset. For this cloak of his is the only covering he has for his body. What else has he to sleep in? If he cries out to me, I will hear him, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. The words to our responsory, I love you, O Lord, my strength. The second reading this morning comes from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what sort of people we were among you for your sake. And because of your imitators, and I'm sorry, and become, and you became our imitators for us of the Lord, receiving the word in great affliction with joy from the Holy Spirit, so that you became a model for all believers in Macedonia and in Achaia. For from you the word of the Lord has sounded forth, not only in Macedonia and in Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has gone forth, so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to await his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. <coughs>
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The scholar of the law, to test Jesus, surely knew the answer to the rabbinical question that he asked, for he had studied the law from the Torah. And Jesus does not disappoint him with his answer, because it mirrors what is stated in Deuteronomy, chapter 6. Verse 5, that you are to love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Jesus then adds, although what was probably a surprise to the scholar, that the second is like it, that we are to love our neighbor as ourselves. Those of us that are here today, this should be pretty simple. We are at mass unless, that is in your heart, you're at mass, unless, as we used to say, your mother made you do it. <laughs> you are here because you love God and you want to give him praise and honor and adoration that is due to God alone. This is not too complicated. If someone asks, why do you go to Mass on Sunday? Say, well, you could go golfing, or perhaps, now that it's cooler, bowling, or just go shopping at Meijer and get the groceries, or you might even want to just sleep in from the fun you had Saturday night. What is your answer? I bet it resembles what Jesus said to the lawyer. If you're lawyers, I'm sorry, it's just what was here today. <laughs> yes, we know it as the third commandment of the Decalogue, the Ten Commandments. And if you're like me, Sister Robert Ann, who was in fact my second grade teacher, taught me in the second grade, the Ten Commandments. Now fortunately, there were two classes in each room. And unlike a lot of students, when she was talking to the second grade and I was in the first grade, I was listening to every word she said. I wasn't doing my homework like I should or reading the book. I was listening to what sister had to say. She was very wonderful, a Franciscan sister from Mishawaka in Indiana. I hope that your faith has matured over the years, whether you're in high school or like some of us, 
let's just say a little over 65 years or so. The second part of Jesus' answer that causes us problems though, what do we have to do to love our neighbor and who exactly is this neighbor? The reading from Exodus gives us some clues to this one. Aliens should not be oppressed, not widows or orphans, poor neighbors that you have lent money to. So basically, it is those among us who are basically of maybe a little less fortunate than we are. I am sure that most of us here do what we can in charity for those in need. We probably donate to the food bank, or perhaps we send our money to the KDSA, or there may be some charitable place that has clothing and may have some food. You may drop some food in the box in the back of the church on Sunday morning. Um, you may give it to the Red Cross when things are bad, they help out. Or you may just give it to loaves and fishes here in the area. There are a lot of charities as well that help out. We may even work at some Sunday supper somewhere or some meal during the week or just go to help those in need perhaps on a personal basis. I ask you though, how do we affect the collective community and national efforts? I'm gonna give you a warning right now. Deacon Howe did not tell you how to vote. He did not mention any candidates. He did not mention a political party. I don't wanna have it come back to me that that Deacon Hal told me to vote for mm, whatever mm, is. With an election looming though, it is necessary that we vote for candidates that will look out for those in need. I cannot tell you who that is. We'll all have to decide that for ourselves. We have to consider not just our point of view when voting, but also all of those who are in need. Jesus was not trapped by the lawyer's questions. Do not either by online ads or what you see on Netflix or one of those networks. Throw in an ad when you don't want to see it. Perhaps we can just take some time and reread these scriptures for today. And regardless of your political leanings, consider instead what Jesus says and how you believe and vote your conscience the next time you vote. Coming to your neighborhood soon. Let us now arise and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was in front of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, 
he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Let us now present our prayers and our petitions to the Lord. For all leaders in the church, may the Lord continue to strengthen them and bless them in their ministry. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may God grant them wisdom and courage in attending to and protecting the most vulnerable in our society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who in, are in, mar in marginalized and in need, may God bless them with abundance and provisions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, May the Lord open our hearts to receive his love so that we can graciously serve others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they be given the peace of Christ's eternal love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our book of intentions and those calling and requesting prayers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Claire Frigo and Steve Banner, all the sick and injured, for health and healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sister diocese in Lodwar, Kenya, and our sister parish in Guatemala, and our St. Ambrose Parish family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For Hazel and Holly Mosey, and our confirmation candidates for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now invite the intercession of our Blessed Mother as we pray. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bye. 
If I should renounce all my riches, feed the hungry, give over my life without love, my profit is lost, my caring finds no reward. Says your heart on the Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted by the God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of For the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to, our, to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Ambrose and all the saints who are pleased with throughout the ages. We may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say, Lord, that my soul shall be healed. Our communion song is number 336, Vida. We will do the refrain bilingually. We will sing verse 2 in Spanish.
Here are some announcements for the day and the week. Thank you for your generosity, generous response to the collection for the Society of the Propagation of the Faith last weekend on World Mission Sunday. Our parish raised $1,911.94. You may stay connected year-round to the Pope's mission, continuing the commitment of the World Mission Sunday by visiting missio.org. As we enter into the new month of November, we invite you to the celebrations of All Saints and All Souls. Wednesday, November 1st, is All Saints Day and a holy day of obligation. Mass will be celebrated at 9.15 a.m. Thursday, November 2nd, is All Souls Day and Mass of Remembrance. All those who have passed away will be celebrated at 9.15 a.m. All are welcome. We also invite you to put your, the names of your deceased loved ones in the memory box near the altar as we will pray for them at every Mass during the month of November. On Saturday, November 4th at 11 a.m., Father Albert and Monsignor Mike will lead the faithful in a solemn procession through Mount Olive Cemetery. Pray for the holy souls of our beloved deceased parishioners. All are welcome to join and pray for loved ones. Please see the flyer in the vestibule for more information. We also invite you to pray for our confirmants as they receive the sacrament of holy confirmation this weekend. God is good. May God bless you this week. So in reference to that last announcement, I would like you to remember this. God does not call the qualified. <laughs> he qualifies those whom he calls. And you are all called. Therefore, he will qualify you, right? <laughs> so just uh, another appeal to, uh, towards that. And uh, continue praying for our Candidates for confirmation, we have a mass at the cathedral this afternoon at 2. And we have uh, 15 of our uh, young children will receive the sacrament of confirmation. So keep uh, praying for them uh, that they may be strong in their faith. I am thinking of now beginning a youth group. I think last year's group and this year's group, we have almost 30. That is a big enough group, right? 
So I think it's time our young ones, as they progress, they, they don't get lost in between. So that will be coming soon. Let us now pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in science, we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go forth to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our closing song is number 586, They'll Know We Are Christians, 586.